Hi guys, welcome back to Black Magic Beauty. I'm Trish. I figured I'd jump on here today. I'm starting to feel a little bit like a human being again after being sick, so I wanted to go ahead and do that decluttering video I was talking about doing. Now, I am doing a low buy this year, so I'm trying to avoid decluttering by default and defaulting to using up my makeup in its entirety this year. However, there are some items that I've been noticing have been sort of collecting dust. And when I notice that I haven't been using a particular item in a while, I tend to try to pull it forward and focus on it just a little bit. Not focus on it in the sense of like panning it, like project panning it, but just like, oh, you know, I want to give this a little bit of use because I have a small enough collection that I can do that while I am project panning certain items. I still like to kind of cycle through everything and use everything a little bit here and there. And there's a few different items that I've been noticing this year ever since I started my low buy. When I have gone to reach for them because I feel like it's been a while since I've used them or they're items that I really haven't used at all, I've been noticing myself hesitating with quite a few different things where I just don't, I don't want to use it. I've thought about it, went to reach for it, and was like, mm, no, I really don't want to. And that's happened a few different times. And there's one lipstick in particular that I can think of that I actually forced myself to wear because I've had it for about 10 months now. And I hated it. Like, as soon as I put it on, I was just like, ew, like, this is not a good color for me. And I think that's probably mostly the problem that I'm having with a lot of the items that I'm about to declutter is just they're not the right colors for me. Um, they're things that I've collected over the years that I thought I would really like for one reason or another. And then once I obtained them and I actually had them in my possession and I tried to use them, it, I just realized that they weren't for me. So I'm, I'm going to keep this as edited as possible in the sense of I'm going to do my best not to just default to decluttering a lot of items, but if there's items in my collection as I'm going through it that I look at and I'm like, you know what? I honestly don't think this is something that I'm going to use or miss when it's gone. Then I'll go ahead and get rid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera over and we can start decluttering. I hope you guys enjoy this video and here we go. All right, so I am going to go ahead and start with palettes just since I know this will be pretty quick getting through since I'm not planning on getting rid of very many of these. This one is my Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction. This one is in my Project A to Z pan right now. I do love this palette even though I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it. Not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon. So that's going to be keep. Same thing with Haunted Pumpkin. This one is also in my Project A to Z, and I love this. It's just a super grungy, kind of all year round palette. But because it leans a little bit more on the cool side for a lot of these shades, save like these couple, um, it tends to work out pretty well for me. My eyes are always drawn to grungy, greeny palettes, but a lot of times they tend to lean a little bit more warm toned and then that's where I run into trouble where I put them on and then I realize they actually don't look that great. But this one works really well for me. Smoke Sessions palette is one that I don't know if I've used yet. I just got this recently and I really, really like it. I believe I got it for Black Friday last year. I'm excited to dive into it. The colors are fantastic. And these are definitely a lot more warm toned. So I can see myself leaning towards these a little bit more. But every once in a while, I do like to wear something like this. Even if it's not the best for me, I still enjoy them. So as long as there are cool tones that I can reach for in the palette, it's okay that they've got some of these like more yellow-based greens as well. 
this one, I am actually a little disappointed in myself that I haven't used too much. But again, this is another palette. I really love the colors. So I'm not planning on getting rid of this at all either. Now this one, I know I am getting rid of this one. I've already promised this one to one of my coworkers. Now I was originally drawn for this to this palette and I have wanted this palette for several years because these grungy tones are tones that I tend to be drawn to like visually. The problem I have with this particular palette is it's almost all warm tones and a lot of them are just a little bit too deep and too dark for me. So like if you look at these kind of grungy tones versus like the ones in the Haunted Pumpkin, these are a little bit like muddier and a little bit deeper in tone um, overall. There are a couple of items in here that I probably would use. I would definitely use Mercury because I love grays. Electric and Cube I would definitely use and Roxy and Dawn I think I would use. Um, however, the rest of the palette, which is more than half the palette, I don't think I would honestly touch. Um, and I have dupes for a lot of these shades already. I think Cube is the one that I'm like most interested in. But I don't want to keep the entire palette for just one shade when I have palettes that have a shade like this. I have tons of palettes that have a shade like this. This electric shade, I don't know if I have anything that dupes this right now, but there was a couple of Cleonda shadows that I was thinking about getting, and I'm pretty sure I could get a similar one whenever I get around to placing that order. And Mercury, I have a ton of grays there too. So those like couple of shades that I would use out of this, I don't think it's worth keeping this entire palette in my collection if the rest of these shadows are just going to go bad without me ever using them. And because it is still a fairly newer palette, I got this about six months ago when my friend gave it to me because she also wasn't using it and she had only gotten it a few months before. I would rather give this to somebody who's actually going to use it and enjoy it. And there's this one girl who works up at the front desk at my spa who looks absolutely phenomenal when she wears these like dark, like very deep colors like this. So I decided to give this to her. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This one would be a declutter if it wasn't my Pan That palette this year. So this is my Pan That palette. Um, and for a lot of the same reasons that I don't find myself using this very often, it's a lot of the same reasons I, I'm not really enjoying using this because these shades are just a little bit too deep and too warm for me. They just don't really enhance anything when I put them on. Like they tend to kind of make me look tired. Certainly don't brighten up my face whatsoever. Um, and you know, sometimes I do want a little bit more of like a dramatic smoky eye, but Honestly, these are just kind of meh for me. I'm not going to declutter it right now because it is my Pan That palette and I am working on fully panning this shade. I think my ultimate goal for this right now is to fully pan this shade, fully pan that shade, and maybe declutter these two. But I'm going to hold on to it for now, even though I don't like it all that much. This one is Pat McGrath Subliminal. I'm also going to keep this one. I absolutely adore this palette. Even though a lot of these shades are a little bit deeper, like these two especially, and they're not necessarily the best for me, the majority of this palette actually works really, really well. And this was my Pan That palette last year. As you can see, I did quite a bit of damage to that kind of brown shimmery shade last year. I really like that one a lot. Even though it's darker, the fact that it's cool toned makes it a little bit easier for me to wear. 
so I will be holding on to this, not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon. Same thing for this. I will never get rid of this. Um, I bought this last year. Was it last year? No, it was almost two years ago now. Well, more like a year and a half. It was like a year and a half ago now. Um, September of 2022. I went to go see My Chemical Romance with my friend out in Boston. And while I was there, yeah, September of 22. While I was there, I ended up ordering this because they had re-released this collaboration for the, for the tour that they were going on. And I will admit these aren't really my colors anymore. These kind of colors would absolutely be my jam when I was like an emo teenager. <laughs> um, now, they're not necessarily colors that I would wear all the time, although I do wear them occasionally. I keep it mostly just for the collector's item and whether or not I completely pan this palette one day or not, I am going to keep this forever. I will eventually just kind of put this in a shadow box and put it on the wall just because I think it's so cool. My Natasha Denona Glam palette, also not going to get rid of this. Um, this one's just okay. It's not necessarily my favorite, but a lot of these colors work well for me. It's kind of like a boring basic bitch palette, but it, it works well, especially for a work palette or like just a basic kind of going out sort of thing. Very functional and I like that. What else we got? Stone Cold Fox. You will pry this out of my cold dead fingers. I love this color story. I love this color story. I love this palette. That's gonna stay. Um, this one's gonna stay too. Like I said, most of these are gonna stay. This one that looks like pan, but it's not. It's just like a little shiny thing. This is an Amazon palette, but I got this from my coworker and these neutrals just work really well for me. And there's not a lot of pigmentation in this, which sounds like a bad thing, but I like it for this. I use these to kind of blend other colors out. It's just a nice little neutral palette. So I love that one. I am panning this right now in my Project A to Z. I'm currently working on this shade. I don't love this palette as much as I thought that I would. I love these shades right here. Those are great. I love this blue. And then they've got like a little periwinkle lavender up here that I also really like. But the rest of them, the rest of them I'm not sure if I will get to. I think I just enjoyed looking at this visually when I bought it and I wasn't thinking about how those colors would necessarily work for me. Um, part of the reason I'm okay with getting rid of this subculture palette too though is because there are some colors in here that I can get out of here, like the dark brown, the kind of navy green, we've got like the burgundy over here that dark purple that we've got in here. So a lot of those colors I can get from this. Um, I might eventually declutter this after I get more use out of the shades that I enjoy, but ultimately I think I would like to fully pan these, this one and this one, and then kind of go from there to see what I want to do with it. All right, only a couple palettes left. These two, I don't think I'm going to get rid of these either. I'm not a big fan of this pink palette, but I do want to get more use out of this before I decide to declutter it. And I really like this one. This shade in the middle here in particular is absolutely beautiful. Probably won't use this one, but this will work as a liner shade. I like this shade and this one I think I could make work. It's just a pretty bronze. So I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep all of these too. The only one I would consider getting rid of is this Tarte blush. Just because it's really not my favorite. It's kind of like a red blush. 
like a muted red, which isn't really for me, but it's just a mini. So I think eventually I'll be able to work on panning that. And then this, this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer. Um, if I didn't have so much use on this, I might consider decluttering this, but I have such a big pan going in here. I think I just want to finish it up. It's not the best shade for me though. Um, I kind of like these two better. This one's a little bit deeper, but it's very cool toned. And this one looks warm toned, but it's light enough that it doesn't make me look orange. This one can at times pull a little bit orange on me. Um, but I'm still going to work on kind of trying to finish as much of these as I can. This one, I think I'm going to declutter a couple of items from. So technically this one goes in here too, but these are actually the same eyeshadow. So this is Sydney Grace Speedway. Um, I ordered this last year and it came shattered and they were kind enough to send me another one which I've been using but I don't know why I can't get rid of this it's just such an awesome shade for me gray tones look phenomenal on me and this is like a beigey gray that's just perfect so even though I already have one that's probably gonna last me quite a while I still can't seem to get rid of the shattered one that I have to keep away from all my other makeup because if I tip it, it's going to fall out all over the place. And that's after repressing it. I already repressed it and it looks like that. Um, my Tarte Shakedown. I haven't been using this that much, but I've got so much progress on this. I'm going to keep this until that's gone. Um... This one I'm going to get rid of. So this is a single that, oh my God, that's so pretty though. Do I want to get, <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of decluttering. So the main reason I've thought about getting rid of this is just because it is kind of old. I got it back in 2020, which was four years ago now. And honestly, I have barely touched it. Um, I keep it because it's so pretty to look at, but I just don't use it. Anyways, this is from the Eloise Queen palette. And I have other blues that I wanna work on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. I think, I think this one I'm going to sanitize and maybe give to somebody else that I think will enjoy that more because even though it is really beautiful, I literally have barely used that in like four years. So why am I keeping it? Um, the other ones I might get rid of from this, I'm going to move this so I can tip this up, are some of these. And the reason being, and I didn't realize this at the time when I ordered this, but a lot of these shades are almost exactly like my Smoke Sessions palette. And if I'm going to keep, yeah, like, <laughs> so these two are basically like the same. Those two are the same. Those two are the same. This one isn't. So part of me doesn't. But literally they're. They are the same. <laughs> they are the same shades. Yeah, like. Look at that. I don't know why I bought this palette, but I'd rather have this palette than these ColourPop singles. So I am also going to pass these on to somebody else who will actually enjoy them 
because I'm probably not going to use up so much green eyeshadow that I can pan all the shades in here and then move on to these ones before they go bad. I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to keep this little one because I don't actually have a dupe for that one in my collection. There we go. All right, so those are all my eyeshadow palettes. And so far, these are my declutters. I've got one, two, three, four or five singles, and then one 14 pan palette. I should really be adding this in there, but I'm not going to. Because <laughs> unlike greens, I actually will get through two full pans of this gray eventually, because I'm crazy like that. Um, but yeah, so far that's 19 items, because in my low buy currently, I am counting every pan as one item. So that is 19 items so far. So let's move on to the next category. All right, so this is all my unused makeup. These are the items that are still in the packaging. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. I'm just gonna go through these really quick. So I've got two Clinique, one Ulta, one Benefit, one, two, three Lancome mascaras and a Lancome mascara primer. I'm not going to get rid of any of those. I'm not going to get rid of this either. I'm not particularly interested in it, but I still want to try it. And mascara is enough of a utilitarian item that I feel like getting rid of any mascara is kind of silly, so I'm just gonna keep that and use it up. Um, got a face primer by Ulta and a butter gloss by NYX. I'm gonna keep both of those two. So nothing's going from my unused pile. Next we have my lips. All right, so I am just gonna go through this one by one pretty quickly. This one I just got by Gimme Glow, keeping this. Um, this Ulta lip stain, I actually like quite a bit. I am more than halfway done with this. So I'm going to keep that and use it up. This is very old, but I love it. I was actually going to put this in my Project A to Z this year to try to finish it up. Um, but I lost it, unfortunately. But I found it, it's back again, I'm keeping that. This one, I actually have not used yet, but it is a beautiful color and I'm planning on keeping it and using it up in its entirety. Plum Dandy, okay. So this one I might get rid of. Um, I bought it cause it looked like a really cool color and it is. I got this about six months ago when I went to California. I was kind of perusing the Mac store while I was stuck in the airport on a layover. And it is a it is a cool shade. It's basically like a metallic purple gold. I just don't think it's the right shade for me. When I wear it, it looks kind of weird. And because of that, I really haven't been wearing it terribly often. I'm going to put this to the side. That's I might get rid of that. Definitely not getting rid of my Valentino lipstick. I love this. This is the... What's the shade? R22, I think. It, it's just called Rosso Valentino. It is actually the best red I've ever used in my life. And I'm thinking about potentially purchasing a full size of this once this is gone. What is on this? I don't know what that is. All right, what's this one? 
Devoted to Chili. Okay, so this is actually the lipstick that I was talking about in my, my intro. So I got this for free when I got the other MAC items from that airport MAC store. And basically you could just kind of get a free lipstick, but their options were super limited. And when I swatch it, it looks like a pretty red brown, but for some reason when I put it on my face, it makes me look like a clown. I think it's just too warm toned and it just doesn't work for me. I look crazy when I wear this. Um, so this is actually gonna be a declutter. Same thing with this actually, and this is old enough that I think, yeah, 2020, and I'm pretty sure I purchased this second hand in 2020. Um, I literally never wear this. It's just a red lip liner, and I've been holding on to it because I don't have a red lip liner, but it's just a little bit too warm toned. So when I try to pair it with the reds that I actually like, um, like this one, for example, Russian Red by MAC. See the difference in tone? Like, they don't go together. So I never end up actually wearing it because it doesn't go with any of the reds that I actually like. Um, and it's not something that I would wear on its own. I've literally had this kicking around for four years and it was already pre-owned even before that and I've barely touched it. It's almost still completely full size. So I'm going to go ahead and actually throw that one away. There's no reason for me to have that. This Grolactic gloss, this is like a tinted red jelly gloss. I love this. Very pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Russian red, also going to keep. Um, what's this? Yeah, I've got a bunch of lip liners. I don't think, aside from that red one, I'm going to get rid of any of them. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So I have the Wicked liner that I just got from Gimme Glow Cosmetics. This is a gorgeous, like, grayish mauve color. This is a brown product. I don't know why I have that in there. Um... I've got just like a neutral pink from NYX. I actually have two of the Charlotte Tilbury lip, Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Pencils that I really, really like. I got these both at the same time because it was buy one, get one free. I'm keeping those. And then I've just got a couple of different ones from NYX. So I've got the brown prune, which is like a plummy one and mauve. And I'm keeping all of those. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of my lip glosses. I have two, two Moira lipsticks. These are almost like a balmy lipstick. Very, very hydrating. But they go on almost like a tempted lip balm, even though they're called a lipstick. Um, I've got two. So I've got Cherry Blossom, which is like that kind of pinky color. And I have the Tender Rose that is a little bit deeper. I love both of them. This one might be a declutter in the near future. Um, it's really pretty. I just never use it, but I currently have this in my unicorn project pan where we are panning all our beautiful, shiny, sparkly, magical items. And yeah, that is beautiful. I just can never figure out a time that I want to wear a shade like that on my lips. So if I have a lot of trouble panning that during this project, this might be a declutter later, but I'm going to finish it up in at least in the project first. Let's see. Gloss. I'm going to keep this. Another gloss, another gloss. Most of these are just kind of nudie glosses or pink glosses. I like all of them. I'm not planning on getting rid of any of these. So yeah, got a bunch of glosses. I'm not gonna get rid of that. No, more gloss. I I can go through a gloss like no one does this. 
Um, this is actually a liquid lipstick in Wicked. I'm gonna keep that too, I just got that. Um, I actually have two of the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow. I'm gonna keep both of those. Chapstick, let's see what these shades are. So this Casablanca one, I adore, it's almost done. It's just this little itty bitty nub. I'm gonna keep panning that till it's gone. This one is nice too. I don't wear it as much, but it's just kind of like a nudie brownie pink. That's from Rose Ink. I do like it. Couple more MAC lipsticks. I got Velvet Teddy in a mini. I like that one. Cream Cup, I love. I bought this at the same time that I got the Plum Daddy and the Devoted to Chili. Mare, I also really like. Just a beautiful deep nude pink. And then these are the Sheer Shine lipsticks. So these are basically like, almost like a lip gloss formula in a stick. I've got Thanks It's Mac, which is like a sheer brownie peach. And I have Syrup, which is a pink and it's, oh, it's beautiful. But keeping those, definitely keeping my Juicy Tubes. I love my Juicy Tubes. And I have, I have a tinted lip gloss by NARS. So, all right, that's all of my lip products. So I'm only getting rid of two of those. All right, what do you guys think about Plum Daddy? I'm really gonna have to think about that one. I think I'm gonna hold that until the end of this and sort of see where we're at. Cause I do have quite a lot of lip products, but that is a very unique shade. I just don't think it's my kind of unique shade, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and I have this one, this purple ring. See, I feel like if I wanted to wear a purple lip, I would wear this. But this is a little bit more work appropriate because it's slightly more muted. You know what, I'm gonna go try this on real quick and see what I think. All right guys, it doesn't necessarily match the rest of my makeup, but I think I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of cool, pretty unique. Not necessarily the most flattering shade on me, but I like it anyway, so that one's staying. All right, so here I have everything else. So I have my two primers left. I'm keeping both of those. Those aren't going anywhere. Um, this brow wax I haven't even used yet. This is going to be the replacement for this brow gel that I hate so much. Once this is done, I really thought about decluttering this. I really thought about doing it because like it's like sticky and stringy and those like stringy fibers that come off of it, like when they dry, they literally look like dandruff. It's so gross. but I've like used just so much of it at this point that I don't want to give up on it yet. I just want to finish it, be done with it, and that's it. So I am going to keep that, even though I hate it. Another item I hate is, <laughs> these are all of the items I hate. Another item I hate is this stupid Rare Beauty blush. It's just this little freaking packet, but I'm going to show you because it's not going to waste it because this is an un, like an unlimited amount of blush in here. Okay, so you dip your little finger into that, right? I'm gonna wipe everything off my hand. Tap it on, pretend this is your cheek. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Like, I don't want that much blush. And then when you try to like blend out the edges with like a beauty blender or whatever, it just like, I feel like it just doesn't look good. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I feel like it's too pigmented and it just ends up like all over my face. But again, it's just that little, little blister pack. So I wanna finish it. 
I've already got it open. I've already got it, like I've been working on it for about a week now and there's still that much left. It's what I've been wearing every single day, but whatever. I'm just gonna finish it. Um, this is in one of my project pans, one of my favorite blushes ever, Proud Pink by Huda Beauty. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep my Tower 28 blush in Magic Hour, as well as my LYS blush in Self Love. This is like a movie kind of cream blush. This is really pretty too. Those are staying. Um, this is the only color corrector I own and I love it. This is my Becca under eye color corrector. I'm going to keep that and my only concealer that I own, which is like a perfect concealer. I'm going to keep this as well. Um, Fenty Beauty. I've got a couple of highlighters. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of my highlighters because I love them all. This is How Many Carrots. This is What a Brat. It's a pink one. Great for a blush topper. I've also got Fenty Beauty Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. These are beautiful. I'm keeping all three of those. And I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of those. Um, this mascara is almost done. As you can see, there's like just a little bit left right there. This is probably going to be in my empty soon, so I'm going to finish this up. Uh, do I have any other mascaras in here? This is just eye drops. That shouldn't be in there. Yeah, I've got this. This, I don't actually like this as much as I thought I would, but again, it's a mascara, and since I wear mascara every single day, I'm just going to keep it and use it up. This one I also thought about decluttering, um, partially just because it keeps drying out. I mixed it with an oil, which then made it kind of like sticky and tacky. It's just a cream shadow in this kind of beigey brown color, but I've realized if I blend it out enough with a powder, it actually looks really nice. So I'm going to keep that too. Um, this is my only foundation, the Good Apple Bomb. That's going to stay. I've got a mascara primer. That's going to stay. A couple of different powders. Powders is another item that's very utilitarian for me, so I'm not planning on getting rid of any of these. I've got the NYX finishing powder. This is just okay. It's not my favorite, but it's something that I use all the time. So I'm going to keep that. Demessa, Danessa Myrick's powder bomb. I like this. I'm going to keep that too. Melt. This is probably my favorite powder. It's like a glowy powder. This one's great. This one isn't my favorite it's almost a little bit too matte but it works well in some situations and again it's a utilitarian item so I'm gonna keep this hi buddy I have this Laura Mercier sample powder which this will probably be done pretty soon too I do really like this powder I would consider repurchasing a full size of this after everything else is whittled down a bit, so I'm not gonna get rid of that. And I do have one more highlighter, Flexitarian, one of my favorite highlighters. I feel like every highlighter I have is my favorite highlighter. It's the only cream highlighter I have though, and it is beautiful, so that's not going anywhere. I've got a bunch of eyeliners. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these either. So I have two multi-chrome eyeliners from Moira. I like both of these quite a bit. I think I'm going to use these up pretty quickly because there's not a lot of product in here. Definitely going to keep these. This Pixie eyeliner in brown is my favorite eyeliner, so I'm not going to get rid of this. And this Makeup Forever eyeliner in Bisque I use all the time. I'm not going to get rid of that either. Um, and these two are kind of like a shimmery, sort of shiny version of that bisque, so I'm gonna keep those. These three are the ones that I don't really like that much. I'm kind of over black eyeliners in general, but all three of these I've used quite a bit. Um, and the jumbo pencil, I think I've used at least half of. So for that reason, I'm gonna keep them 
and continue using them until they're gone, but I wouldn't buy any of these again once I'm finished. I've got a couple of brow products left. So I've got Hold My Brow, which is actually my favorite brow soap. So this, you basically just wet down a little bit and you use a spoolie and you put that in your brows. This is only a dollar. I love this. I highly recommend this one. Um, and then I just, wait, this is an eyeliner. Where's the brow pencil? Okay, so this is actually a brow pencil. Which I don't have a lot left of, so I'm just gonna finish that up too. So most of these products that I kind of use as utilitarian products and less like my fun products, I typically tend to keep so that I can just use them up. I've got two brow pomades as well. One of these, the soft brown one, I use more as an eyeliner though. Okay, I've got three eye primers. I'm going to keep all of these as well. So this item, I actually might need to declutter soon. This is a liquid contour that I've had for coming up on three years now. No, coming up on two years now. Um, and I'm just worried it's gonna go bad soon, but if you see the windowing in there, it's like almost empty. So I'm gonna try to use this up before it expires so that I won't have to declutter this one. And that, aside from this random lip balm, just leaves all my loose eyeshadows. So I have this Carla Cosmetics Fix Potion. So this pairs really nicely with their multi-chromes as well as their glitters. It just basically adheres the glitter to the lid. I like this a lot, I'm gonna keep this. And I absolutely love all three of these Carla Cosmetics multi-chrome. I have Bougie Bay, I think this one is Crybaby. No, this is Moody Cow and this is Crybaby. Crybaby, I think, is my favorite. I'm going to keep all of those. And this one I actually thought about decluttering just because it's a loose glitter, and I'm not typically a huge fan of loose glitter, but it is what I'm wearing on my lids today when you saw me in the intro as well as my little lipstick try-on. And I'm starting to realize I actually really like it, so I'm going to keep this. Bare Minerals in Nude Beach. This is a beautiful, neutral, everyday shadow. I'm definitely going to keep this one. These three. I think there might be a little bit of decluttering here. Um, so these are all cream eyeshadows. This one is actually really interesting, though. These three are from Jillian Dempsey, which I believe you can get at, like, Neiman Marcus and places like that. This one is actually a clear, kind of tacky gloss for your lids. And I actually really like it. So I'm gonna keep this one. But these two, I'm not as sold on. I have a purple and I have like this orangey bronze. I think I'm gonna pass on, after I sanitize it, this orangey bronze one. Not only is it kind of orange, like all the bronze sort of goes away when I put this on my lid and it just looks like orange, but because the tackiness that I experience with this gloss isn't present in this one, it just slides off my lids and I have to reapply it multiple times a day. And I'm just not really a fan, so I'm gonna pass on that. Um, and then I've got another gloss and this plum shade. This gloss I actually love. It's like a gray purple and it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, which means the last item is this purple shade, which I feel like it's similar enough to that gray gloss 
that I love that it seems kind of silly to keep both. But also it's just not very pigmented. Like, you gotta really put on a lot for it to show up at all. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. And I'm just gonna keep these two. All right guys, so I would say that was a pretty successful declutter. I did stick with my goals in only getting rid of the items I felt were really necessary because I knew I was never going to use them while still getting rid of a fairly decent amount of stuff. Um, so totals for this, when it comes to my low buy, since every one of these pans is considered an item and every individual item is also an item, we're looking at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 points in total. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my low buy totals, which will be updated in my empties video at the end of the month. Yes, Mama has, Mama has 24 points. That's right. All right, guys. Well, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed following along with me during my declutter. Definitely a bit more of a smaller scale declutter. I only ended up getting rid of a handful of items, but I know I find these kind of videos enjoyable and satisfying, so hopefully you had fun kind of playing around with my collection with me. Most of these items I'm going to go ahead and pass on to a good home because they are in good enough condition to do that, but the ones that are older I will be tossing away. Um, so stay tuned for the next one. My next video should be my unicorn project that I'm going to be updating soon, so Keep in tune for that. And again, thanks so much for following along with me. And I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Thanks. Because, you know, it's...